Hey hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Game Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're checking out another one of the new Hot Wheels cars added in the brand new Hot Wheels car pack. Now in the last episode we checked out this which is the 2 Jet Z. We checked this out yesterday. Every day this week I'm going to be checking out one of the new Hot Wheels cars. So if you are interested in seeing customization and gameplay for those then make sure you subscribe to the channel. We did recently hit 800 subscribers which is why I am doing this week long daily upload. So I want to say a massive thank you to all of you for helping us out with that. For sticking around with the channel and joining us if you are new. And if you're not new and you want to support us then that would be greatly appreciated. And I am also doing a giveaway all this week to celebrate 800 subscribers that is going on from yesterday until next monday i will leave a link in the description to the giveaway over on twitter if you want to join in with that then please do and yeah let's just get on with the video So as I mentioned yesterday we checked out this, the brand new Jet Z. This thing is absolutely fantastic. And today we're going to be checking out another one of the new Hot Wheels cars. Which you already know what it is because you've seen the thumbnail. So let's just get to it. And here it is. This is the Studebaker Golden Hawk Dream Roadster. Or as I like to think of it is a Frankenstein Corvette. Because for some reason it's a Studebaker but to me it looks like a Corvette. Like the front end here is definitely very Corvette-esque to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And yeah, it's kind of a weird looking car. It's a mishmash roadster. I guess you could call this a hot rod. And it has some very interesting quirks with this vehicle. So first let's go ahead and explode the thing. And you can already see one of those little quirks. This little pop down headlight I guess you call it. Um, that is definitely taken from a Corvette. And then in here we have got some kind of engine. I'm not sure whether that is a V8. I honestly can't tell. I think it's actually a four cylinder. Oh no, it is a V8 actually. Okay, so we have got a V8 in there. We've got side pipes in the thing. So we've got a side pipe on each side which is absolutely lovely. The actual car is not that bad looking. The front end is where it lets it down for me. That is the part that I am not that keen on. But we have got some customization options for this thing. So let's hop into that and see actually what we can do with it. Okay, so here we are in the garage. Let's first see what engine swaps we can do with this thing. So standard we have the stock powertrain has uh, 528 horsepower, 510 pound feet of torque, which is not bad to be honest for a stock vehicle. It weighs just over 3,000 pounds, so it's reasonably light not as light as the jet z we checked out yesterday but it is still pretty light we can go ahead and put in the 6.2 liter v8 or we can put in the 8.4 v10 so we've got some hemi swaps here so we've got the uh hellcat engine and then we've got the viper v10 in there so some good engine swaps in there i'm going to stick with the stock powertrain and see what we can actually get out of this thing so standard it is rear wheel drive we can swap all wheel drive in here but since it's kind of like a hot rod i'm gonna leave it rear wheel drive i think that's more appropriate we can stick some big old turbos on there which boosts our horsepower by a hundred horsepower almost just under 100 horsepower so that's a pretty good swap or we can go ahead and stick on the supercharger which gives us uh, yeah a reasonable amount more since it's a hot rod I'm gonna go with the supercharger because I think that's more appropriate we have got 
some visual parts so we can go ahead and put a spoiler on there i think that looks a bit out of place i'm not gonna lie it's hard to think that anything would look out of place on this vehicle but that doesn't really fit for me so i'm gonna leave that off the wheel options are standard we've got just standard stock tire compound we can go for street sport race we got the horizon race tower tires snow tires or we can go for drag tires um now we did have some problems with the jet z yesterday with grip issues so i'm gonna go with the snow tires just so we have a little bit of grip today let's go ahead and see how fat we can make these tires so not a massive increase to be honest but not bad now i'm not a huge fan of these wheels so i'm gonna see if we can find something a little bit nicer in here okay so i found these these are called hole shot wheels and they look pretty nice actually we've got a little bit of black on there little bit of uh, chrome around the edges they look pretty nice just gives it a little bit more of a sort of sporty feel i think so we'll go with that we can increase the radius even more but they're already pretty low profile so we'll just leave those how they are we'll go ahead and upgrade all of this this is just going to make the car that little bit more faster and then we'll go ahead and upgrade the brakes what suspension can we get on this so we've got the stock we can actually get rally springs and dampers or we can get the drift suspension um, i'm not sure this thing is a drift car so i'm just going to leave it on stock and we can go ahead and put in a roll cage um, i'm not so sure that looks right either so maybe we'll just go for that roll cage there now let's have a look how much we can get out of this so standard is 595 horsepower let's go and upgrade it and see what we can get so we're going to upgrade all of these to max as standard it was already s1 class so i think we can probably get quite a bit out of this and let's see what the final result is 793 horsepower and 753 pound feet of torque so i think this thing will be able to do a burnout and it has a six liter engine in there so not too bad to be honest but it is still rear wheel drive so that's a lot of horsepower going just through the rear wheels but let's take it outside to a race and see how we go so i did actually forget to just take a look at the paint options quickly because obviously we can go ahead and paint the vehicle so it comes standard with this kind of orangey yellow color which is the only manufacturer color that we have but obviously you can change this up in the normal colors to whatever you like you can go ahead and tune it to something we've got all the usual special colors now i think this thing would suit kind of a bare metal look so we'll go ahead and scroll through here maybe something in steel kind of steel semi-gloss i think that looks pretty cool we can actually go ahead and paint the bonnet there so that looks kind of interesting not too keen on that we can actually change up the wing mirrors so i think we'll actually go ahead and change those maybe to something like shiny um let me just go back to the shiny metals down here and we'll just set, set that a shiny aluminium there that looks pretty nice there's no spoiler on this thing now we can go ahead and upgrade the wheels so i'm just going to do that and that whoops that looks much better it's already a bit of a weird looking vehicle i have to admit it's not really my kettle of fish but yeah it has a lot of horsepower so that is something that interests me right so we're outside i'm curious to see whether we can do a burnout in this thing i'm guessing yes is probably the answer but let's see i think we might have to go like second gear burnout in this can we actually get it to stop whilst we're doing a burnout i think no is the answer it just has too much torque and too much grip oh there we go no not quite but yeah i don't have the most skill in doing burnout so yeah let's go to a race and see how we go 
All right, so we're switching it up a little bit from yesterday. We're actually going to go ahead and do a circuit race today. So we're doing the Horizon Festival circuit. I'm curious to see how this thing handles on a track as opposed to like a drag strip where it's kind of intended to be. I mean, it is a roadster, so they have intended this thing to be kind of driven on the road. But let's see how we do in this race, whether we can actually be competitive or not we can already see well we're almost in last place but yeah let's see if we can get up these uh, ranks a little bit so something i'm noticing from this vehicle as you can probably see on the screen it is already a drift car we've not put drift suspension on this thing but you're looking for a good controllable actually drift car then this is a pretty good one to use you can drift this thing pretty well and have good control over it so that's a plus side of it but the downside is it's not really a track car all right we got two laps left to climb up the ranks i don't think it's going to happen to be honest i'm not really making much progress on these other cars i'm trying to keep it as sort of stable and wheel spin as least as possible but this thing just has so much torque in those rear wheels that it is just not happening so we are actually slowly closing in on ninth place but i think it's going to take more than another lap to do that so let's see if we can at least get ninth that would be good all right i've closed in quite a lot on ninth i think we might be able to pass this lap We'll have to just bide our time a little bit. It is quite a short lap around here, so we're going to have to get the pass done fairly soon. This might be it. Let's dive up the inside. Can we get the traction out of the corner? I think we've just done it. There we go. That was a lovely pass as well. Not much contact. And there we go. Across the line in ninth place. Not too much to be proud of there. It's not the nicest looking vehicle, I will admit that, but this thing has a lot of power. I can have a lot of fun in this vehicle and it is fairly fun to go racing with, especially if you've got some other people with high powered rear wheel drive cars. I think it'd be quite funny to see who can actually set a good lap time because it's controllable, but you have to have the skill to control it. So. Yeah, that's my advice for this vehicle. It's a pretty cool vehicle. It has some nice upgrades in there. I'm not really keen on the looks as I've mentioned, but let me know what you guys think down below. Do you like this vehicle? Do you not like this vehicle? Let me know down there. And also, we will be checking out the rest of the vehicles every day this week. So if you want to stick around for that, make sure you subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.